Jose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Who is it? Jose. Who is it? Jose. Who is it? Jose. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, hi guys, hi. This is the start of the weekly vlog. And today, the first thing out of the weekly vlog is for me to get my nails done. So, um, this was supposed to be a part of last week's weekly vlog. But, you know, they say when man plans, God laughs. Yeah. Um, yeah, my nail tech was, I told my nail tech I was coming in today at 11 to get my nails done. We had an appointment. I text my nail tech, it's 11 right now. I text my nail tech like, girl, um, I'm late. Like, I saw you open at 11.30, so I'll just come right then. My nail tech say, she in McDonald's. So that's great. Okay, so, period. Also, my tongue is yellow because I had candy for breakfast. Not because my breath musty or anything. Never that. Okay. We are at the nail salon. Hi! Okay, no problem. Okay, the vlog wants to see you. Because I already been telling him, I was like, my nail tech is the hardest nail tech to track down ever. Okay, you heard her. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, I just talking to my sister. Is it really? Put it out around yourself. <laughs> okay, not myself. <laughs> why you don't want, why you don't my vlog to see you wigless? Because I just took out my wig. I have glue on oh, no, my forehead. Why would you put my YouTube like that? Funny. Like, you know, yeah. Okay, just okay. <laughs> just say hi to my subscribers. Say hi subscribers. Okay, hi. I'm going to tell you something one time. Yeah, I found too. Yeah, you need to go over there. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, no, wait, wait. That's not good. <laughs> So, this is how I'm getting my nails done. I've been loving that kind of 70s style. Hi Steph! Hi! She's like the most popular nail tech in El Paso. Ooh. <laughs> period. She really period, just, period, she period. Just said that. <laughs> she really just said it. So this is the dilla before guys. She did my birthday nails too, you guys saw on that other vlog. This is the before, and then we'll come back and show you guys the after. Look at the nails, the after. Wait, do it this way? Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Can you like, i put it like so. Don't the box, it doesn't feel big. There oh, go. there you go. Bam, and Oh, you did that, Steph. <laughs> oh, thank you. This was the longest nail set in history though, because I didn't realize when I sent this to you that it was going to take this much time. I was lying, I take. I'm pretty uh picky. Yeah, with my artwork. Look so. at that. It's giving lava lamp vibes. I'll show you guys when I get into the car. I like doing like lines like that. It's, it's okay, well, the next time I come, I I'll let you freestyle so you could do like oh nice whatever. So like you could put it on your flowers. Instagram and stuff. Yeah, you could <gasps> build flowers, so anything you want. Cause I'll be done with school. So yeah. yeah, it'll be summertime anyway too. So yeah, we're Next set is all your creative prowess, cause. I'm gonna show you guys the picture and then this. Like, she replicated the hell out of my picture. <laughs> you did really good on my birthday nails, too. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, the lines are perfect. Ah, nice. Thank you. I know I'm telling you, I'm very <laughs> picky. Like, I will delete, I will like erase it over and over until like it comes out. <laughs> yeah, the birthday nails were crazy. They were good. Pamela oil. Get the cute cold moisturized. Oh yeah, always a must. <laughs> and then voila. I put it on the scary wheel and I heard show him. And then I always get the she's like, I have two. So the the lotion? first time I came here, like I have two lotions. One that smells really good and one that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> like just for natural health research reasons. Okay. Thank you. Let me know. Okay. Please don't play with my nail tech. Don't play with my nail tech, okay? Listen, she always booked. She always booked. She might be busy. She might be at McDonald's when it's time for my appointment. But these nails are gonna be right. Do you see that? Look at the line work on my nails. Look at the line work on my nails. 
I put the expectation picture in it, bye. But look at that. Y'all, I need to turn my car so I could be in the sun so y'all could see. Look at that. Girl, she did that. It's the shape for me. Okay. I started getting my nails in square because I have quite little fingers. But it's the shape for me. Look at that. Look at that. And she freestyled on the thumb. It's giving, look, you see that abstract part right there? Oh, it's giving 1970s Ariana. Perk. Okay, guys, so I am home. Um, I left to go to the salon at 11 o'clock. It is now like minutes to three. It was very long. These nails took, actually, it is 3 or 6. So these nails, they took extremely long. But look at that. Look at that. Honestly, I love my nails. Made me want to talk like this. It made me feel like I'm going to have an amazing finals week. And I was on the highway doing about 80 because my nails was like, girl, you're a bad girl. Police can't stop you. Period. So for the rest of the day, today, Saturday, I'm just going to relax, watch a movie, you know. And then I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Look at the nails, though. I keep getting distracted by my nails. Look at the nails. My finger is telling me, oh, I can buy a food to eat, you know. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the nails. Look at the nails. Look at the nails. Mm? My finger is telling me I can buy something to eat. <laughs> well, that's it for Saturday. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, guys. Hey, it's Jose. Happy Tuesday. So, um, you guys did not see me on Sunday and on Monday because that's what I do. But also because I am getting ready for finals week. Finals week is actually next week. But this week um, is finals week for graduating se um, seniors. So, in the class, in my graduate class, most of the students are graduating. Because if you guys didn't know, I go to Hampton University and they have a stellar and amazing, okay, five-year MBA program. So most of the students in there are five-year MBAs. I am a two-year MBA. There are a few of us. And so um, the majority of the students in the class are graduating. So literally, it's only like two in one class, five in another class that are not graduating. So essentially, this is also my finals week because I'm getting ready for finals. There, nobody's teaching anything anymore. Per. So you didn't see me on Sunday because on Sunday I was getting ready to start the week. And then you didn't see me on Monday because Monday I was procrastinating. And we're just going to be honest. I've been trying to wash my clothes for two days now, so hopefully. So welcome to today's vlog. Okay, today's vlog is going to be me officially starting, you know, getting ready for my exams and showing you how I do that and stuff. First things first, let's get into this room. Okay, let's get into this night gong. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, what is the given? Like, okay, let me not jiggle my titties. Try again. <laughs> what is it giving? Is it giving rich auntie? Yeah, it's giving the auntie with no kids. Okay, it's giving the auntie who wake up to mimosas. It's giving like kids. Kids? That's what it's giving. So this, I like I told you guys, I love the silk night gowns. In the last vlog, you guys saw my aunt purchased me all these silk night gowns. And y'all, this one, I slept in it last night. And let me show you, um like the bottom it has a nice split look silk mat mat night gonna match the nails okay look with the split okay woke up smelling like um shea butter and a bright future Pew. like this morning i want to start my morning with either ginger tea or coffee i'm not a big coffee girl i love ginger tea but my father sent me some ginger <laughs> The best ginger in Dominica. You know what? Let me get an advertisement in, okay? If you're in Dominica and you're looking for some real ginger, when I say real ginger, I'm talking about play play ginger, you know. Real ginger, when you boil it and so ginger water has to be brown. Yeah. My father has the best ginger on island, so if you need some ginger, go ahead and reach out to me in the email because my father will bring you the ginger. I'm telling you, he always have a ginger. So I don't know if I want to use the ginger though because I really know. So what should we eat today? 
for breakfast. Okay, I think ginger tea this morning because I'm not with the coffee right now. Ginger tea this morning and let me, and let me show you guys something. So I was craving um, something from my childhood, which is grapefruit and sugar. So I'm gonna have that for breakfast, something light, something slight. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I actually organize my um, studying for my exam week, okay? what's been going on with my classes what you can expect for my exam week and so forth so what I'm doing is I'm just like getting the juices out you know also I have extra sugar on the shine so for my exam week um i have three exams three classes so in these three classes um to be transparent um at the midterm semester i only had one grading and you can expect that when you're in grad school sometimes a bulk of the work that you're gonna do in the semester you don't actually get to do it until the very end so that's what's happened in two of my classes hey guys i'm back so did my class light little studying and I got some Indian food because why not but why would you, but why not so when I went to Florida my friend introduced me to Indian food and I have been having it off and on since then so let me show you guys Ooh, if you like garlic this is called garlic naan and I love chicken tikka masala. Let me show you. Hold on. It's, it looks a little crazy. Look, it's like orange. It's like orange, but trust me, it's nice. And then just the plain jasmine rice. But Indian food is good. Trust me. The chicken tikka masala kind of tastes like nothing from my Caribbean culture to me. But look at it. Mmm. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. It is 12.39 right now. So I I didn't know how to introduce this to the vlog, introduce this to YouTube. I didn't know what to say. I was gonna make a dedicated video, which I still play over. The people who watch the vlogs, y'all already gonna know because I'm about to say right now. Your girl got a new job, okay? A brand new, big money job, period. And I'll go into details and specifics in a separate like sit down video to talk about it. But I got a new job and they contacted me today to remind me that today is our virtual happy hour. So y'all will see me get ready for the virtual happy hour and stuff. I'm supposed to be drinking but I'm not really in a drinking mood. And um, so sneak peek, hint, hint, the company that I got the job for, they are a leader in alcohol beverage distribution so i was supposed to like hop on there with one of the alcohol brands but the alcohol brands are very bougie and <laughs> strong and i don't know whether or not that's gonna happen but we'll let you know in the vlog so let me eat my indian food my chicken tikka masala okay guys so i am at the i'm ready for the virtual happy hour right now um i didn't do a get ready with me because i literally didn't get ready i just tried to do my eyebrows and some my lip gloss so i'm trying to see how i look let me show you guys how i look on the screen this is my little setup so this is this is the zoom so i can see how i look in my little outfit for the happy hour 
So because this is a happy hour, I decided to go with just like a floral top and still put on my jacket just in case it's still professional. Um, so yeah. I'll let you guys I'll let you guys know how the happy hour went. Um, I'm supposed to have a cocktail, but I'm not drinking. So, see you. Okay, guys. So, I just completed and finished the um, virtual happy hour. And it went really good. I get to I got to meet um, my little team for my specific role. One of the guys is um, one of the individuals I interviewed with. And he's also an immigrant, also international. So, we have a good little banter with each other. But also, um, there was another person there as well who I will be working with. And they did let me know that my direct line manager has not been like finalized as yet. But I do know who's going to be working on my team. But also, um, you know, I was really... So, I was very kind of a little bit disappointed when I found out that the internship was going to be remote and not in person because if you guys didn't know the job was supposed to be in New York City New York in Manhattan you know and I really wanted to have that experience but be in light of COVID that is no longer a possibility so with that said um, it's going to be remote and then they let me know that that's not gonna stop the internship experience because they are planning so much stuff for the interns number one they told me they told me a whole bunch of stuff but I'm just gonna tell you guys the highlights there's gonna be a mixology class um, there's like a global competition for bartenders and we're going to be able to experience that the mixology class i have to say it twice because i want to learn how to make cocktails and mix it up and mixology and then um we're gonna have virtual tours of the brewery all of these things we i would have experienced in person but you know covid so i'm really specifically excited particularly excited for this internship experience i'm going to do the best job i ever did like I'm going above and beyond for this job because I'm telling you I want to be at this job full-time period I really do I love this job and stay tuned for the sit down video when I go in detail and in depth about my new job and stuff stay tuned for that I'm gonna do a sit down video about it but it's a great job a great place to work and yeah so that this will be the end of my um tuesday vlog the rest of the day is going to be me continuing to study and then i will see you guys tomorrow yeah um but there was nobody else there by the time the news got there oh my gosh you know mm -hmm. like it was so crazy i was at my house last night and i got called this morning and she's like there was a 50 person shootout up the street from us. I was like, I didn't even hear. Did you hear the shots? Do you live close by? No, I don't. Uh, my mother-in-law, she lives, we used to live over here on the west side, but my husband and I, we've since moved. Oh. Um, so she called us and she was like, did you hear? We were like, what? Yeah, that is scary. Right? I was like. And it was like early, 10 p.m. Uh, yes, before 10 p.m., yeah, because the news was showing it live. And I was like. You know, I don't have cable, but this is a really good example of why you need cable. Right? <laughs> for, for, that is crazy. Yeah, so I wasn't out, but usually I like to go out to get snacks at night, get some McDonald's. And I would be in the middle of a 50, but it had to be gang related. They think, well, that's what they think. Well, they're not speculating anything right now. Yeah. Um, But I know like there's a bunch of new biker clubs that have... Oh. started up and stuff so it could I have mean, been 50 easily. people that sounds like a gang to me right that's 50 people that's... yeah that's crazy okay girl finished filing her taxes i went to this spot in the back it's called there you go right there jackson hewlett jackson hewlett so if you are student immigrants i would recommend them they were really good so i will say that this time around your girl did not owe the US government any money 
it better with Biden because on the Trump, your girl had to pay money, okay? The US government said, girl, you making too much money in our country? They charged me like $300 while I was in college, okay? They charged me $300 while I was in college. So, tax is done. Tax is done, file, brap, brap. We on target. Now, to go to Walmart and pick up a little flower, pick up a little something, make something for me to eat. Jesus Christ, miserable is me. See how you want to get to Walmart.